Okay, guys, it is September 25th, Friday, Gold Day. So it was classes two, four, and six today. Um, we started off class by uh, just saying, hey, seeing how everybody was doing, touching base, and then I showed them my cool little um, like LED disco light we got for the classroom that we're going to be using to do some video filmmaking later on this year. Um, and then I went through and I showed them their three assignments that were due today by midnight. That is also due for me all by midnight. Um, so if you sign in late and you know, after today, then you are going to need to catch up and do that. So I will show you how to access that. I'm going to be using a second period as an example. So if you were in my fourth or sixth period, you would do the same steps just for your class. So you go to your courses, which I have done here. You go to your class. So again, I'm just going to pick second. You should see three folders there. You need to click on week four. Even if you're not sure what week it is, I put the dates out here, match the dates. When you go to week four, you see the link for the live lesson. You see the recorded lessons, which is where you would have clicked to be able to see this video. And then you see your assignments. So this is just a to-do list. I decided to just make a short little list to kind of help you keep straight of what all you actually have to do so you're not doing things you don't have to do. So you have three assignments. The first one is maneuvering in math number three. Second one, maneuvering in math number four. And the third one is lessons two and three from the Internet Safety Unit. I then put them in the same order down here so that it matches. I want to ask you to pay attention to this right here. On all of these assignments, do not email them to me or text them to me or send them in Messenger on Schoology to me. They must be submitted here in Schoology, so please do not send them to my email. I will reply back to you telling you to come back and submit it here. Also, please pay attention to this right here. These are due today. So if you choose not to log in and watch this video until Monday or tomorrow, you're going to have been losing points for every single day after today because it would be like if you came to class and you were told, hey, turn this in before you leave. You know, I gave them the whole entire period. We were only online for maybe about 15, 20 minutes as I went over this and they used the rest of the class to get it done. So please, please, please get it done. If you have any other circumstances that is hindering this from being a possibility, you need to message me and let me know before, not after, okay? So, to access these, you would click on the assignment. All the directions that were in that little blue to-do list are also rewritten right here. You can read this for yourself. It tells you what to do, how to click, and how to submit it. There are a link here and a link here. Either one is fine because they are the same link. So it's not two different links. I just put it on there twice just in case this didn't work for some people. They could try this. So what you're going to do is you will click that link. It will take you to a new page. You need to enter your full name. So I'm just going to use my husband's name for the sake of this example. And then you would hit start. It would then bring up the worksheet page for you to do. This button right here, these two are very helpful. Like if you click that, you can zoom in and see the problems a little bit better, okay? I also made this sheet editable. So you don't have to print this off. You don't have to write stuff on your own paper and take a picture like last time. You literally can click on the document and then type your answers in, okay? So yeah, that 25 is floating way up there, but it's okay. And then you would, you know, click the lines. Even though some, like somebody was like, this one doesn't have a line. It, there's the equal sign. You know, the answer would go right there. Just click. So everything can be typed onto this and needs to be. Don't overthink some of these. Like this one says, you know, what two numbers could you add together to get 30? Well, there's a multitude of possibilities. You know, 25 and 5, 29 plus 1, 15 and 15. You know, whatever works, come with some combination that gives you 30. Here is what three numbers can you add together to get 30? What four numbers could you add together to get 30? You know, this one. There are two parts. First, you have to solve A through D, so you have to work these problems out, put their answers here. But then it tells you to record the letters in ascending order according to their solutions. So after you solve these, you have to put them in order smallest to largest or least to greatest, as we say in math. And then you hit the drop down arrow and which one of these is correct because it's the ABCD put in order from least to greatest based on the answers. 
make sure you read this one. It will know which student made an error and explain why. You click there and you can type your answer, you know, out in the box, all that kind of stuff. Same thing for the justify and estimate. You click there and, you know, type out your answer. Some people couldn't tell if that was a plus sign or division. Again, zoom in. It's a plus sign. And this one is actually a multiple choice as well. Once you work it out, you click there and it gives you your ABCD for you to pick from, you know, whatever choice you want to make it and so forth and so on for you to make a selection. Now, yes, you can use calculators on these. Please, you know, use the tools that are available to you. So let's say you're working on this and you didn't quite finish because you have to go cut the grass or something for your mom or your dad. You need to hit the save for later button because then it will save all the work you've done so far and when you go into Schoology and click the link to come back here, it brings you right back to where you were with your work still there. If you just exit out, it will erase everything. You have to hit that save for later if you want to come back and finish it later um, in the day. When you finish, you're going to click the box that says, I'm done. Now, it will send you like a little warning. Like this one says, the worksheet has not been completed. Like it will scan it, and if you've accidentally left any of them blank, it will tell you. But well, let's just pretend that I had this one filled in for the sake of this. You know, you can hit OK. This green box right here is what will pop up. It says worksheet submission succeeded. That lets you know that you have turned it in and it has been received by me. When you get that green box right there, you're good to go on that. OK, don't pay attention to the score over here. It's going to say zero because all of these are open ended, meaning I have to go and check every single person. Because somebody may put 29 and 1 here, and somebody else may put 25 and 5. So, like, it's going to say 0 until I go in and grade them, and then I will update it in the grade book. But that's how you turn it in and submit it. So that when you go back to Schoology, it's still going to have a little submission button right here. You need to click that. It's going to tell you to upload a file or an assignment. Well, you don't have one to upload because you just submitted it in your other web page. So what you would do, and I'm just going to show you this as like a little brief example. So when that happens and it tells you it won't let you submit until you attach something, just click on the little microphone, click on audio only, and record a little voicemail that says, I turned it in already. Hit done, send, attach, and hit send here. In other words, you're not going to attach a file or anything. You attach a little voice message that tells me you turn it in. Hit submit, and in that way it takes care of the button here and you're, you know, it's submitted it for you. You will do the same thing for the maneuvering in math number four, because it's just this the same thing, but it's a different set of five. So that's 10 total math problems between these two. The last assignment is this one here. You will click that, read the directions. You have to visit these two links because it's two topics. Again, these two links down here are the same as these two. I recommend you right clicking and opening them both into a new tab so that I'm going to extend my screen here. You can see them both right here and right here. So you can easily go back and forth between your Schoology and your two pages. So you'd go to the first one on passwords. You'd read this, watch the video, read the rest of the page. Same thing, read this, watch the video, read the rest of the page. And then you go to the questions and click on it because that is going to be the assignment. Now, if it tells you on your computer it needs to download, tell it yes, so that way it will open it. If yours pops up this little warning on the top, you know, you just hit enable editing. That allows you to now be able to type on it. You would come right here and type your name and, you know, your class period or whatever class period you have. And then you will see that this is password questions. That means that you will go to that passwords page. So this one right here, creating strong passwords. And all of the answers to these four questions will be on that page. Then this one is this uh, browser security features. You will do the same thing, but now you will be going to this tab and getting the answers from there, which is why I said open them in, in tab side by side, because it's easy to just flip back and forth. Now, to submit this, and this is where you need to pay attention, there is also another YouTube video already on our class YouTube page that shows you how to do this. I'm going to show you one more time. Once you've typed all your answers, you know, you go here and you type your answer, whatever. You then have to go to File, 
save as. And if you're able to save to your desktop, you need to do that. If you're not able to save to your desktop, then you might need to save it to your OneDrive because that means you're on a school computer. Or if Google Drive is an option on your school computer, do that. But let's say I save it to your desktop, however you save it. You need to leave the title alone, but put your last name. Let's go Smith. Put your last name there. Hit save. Okay. That way it has now saved it to your computer or flash drive or however you save it. When you get back into the assignment, I have to, like I said, you will have a submission button here. You click the button that says submission. It will pop up again as a text box with these little options down here. Like you won't have the rest of this. That's just on my page because I'm on the teacher side of things. If you saved it to your desktop or to a flash drive, like to your computer, you would hit file. And if you remember, I saved it to my desktop. Right now, downloads is highlighted. It didn't save it to downloads. I saved it to desktop, so I have to go over and click on desktop. And boom, there it is. The questions in Smith, because that's the last name I picked. If I double click, it attaches it here. And I hit submit. If you are a school computer and can't save it to the desktop or to that computer at all, you may have to have saved it to your OneDrive or to your Google Drive. If that is the case, because you saved it in like a Google Docs or something, you, have, you do not go to file. You will have to go to resource. Click resource. Then you would go down and click apps. Click apps. And then click Google Drive if it's saved in your Google Drive. Click OneDrive if it's saved in your OneDrive. If you click on Google Drive and it tells you you have to give um, access to your account. Or if you click OneDrive and it tells you you can't, you have to give approval access or access approval to your account. You need to click that and say OK and give, give approval and make sure when it asks you for what email you pick your school email, the ones in the at stu.mcpss.com. If you don't do that one, it won't let you access or submit anything. If you don't know how to do that, if you're still having issues, because, you know, like if you see mine, it shows all the stuff. So I can just click once, like, let's say this is what I needed and I'm in Google Drive. You would click there, add resource, and it, it submits it for you. But if yours isn't giving you access, then you need to watch the YouTube video that I just posted on our class page that says how to give or how to sync your student account to Google Drive and OneDrive. Do that and then come here and you know, if you save it in your Google Drive and you know, click there, you can import it as a file and it brings it over and see it puts it right there for you. And then you would hit submit and go. If you have any other questions, you just let me know. But that is how you uh, upload that, submit that. Once you do those three, then you are done. And as you can see, it shows you right here if you've done them and if you've submitted them, that kind of stuff. Do not send them to me in an email. Do not send me permission to edit an email. I will send it right back to you. Um, if there's any other questions, cares, concerns, again, message me right here because I will see that faster than obviously a school email. Other than that, you have until midnight tonight to get these done. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Tuesday of next week.